girls and boys. Today we're going to read about Elmer again. This book is called Elmer and the Stranger. It's written by David McKee. He's the author. The author is the person that writes the words. Elmer and the Stranger by David McKee. Elmer, the patchwork elephant, had just started his morning walk when Tiger arrived. Elmer, he said, there's a stranger around and he's acting very strangely. He jumps and falls over. Strangers often act strangely. That's why they're strangers, said Elmer. Well, I don't think he's happy, said Tiger. Just then, Lion appeared. Hello, Elmer. Hello, Tiger, he said. Elmer, there's a strange chap around. He sort of, he sort of jumps, said Tiger. Elmer knows. And then he kind of, well, he falls over, finished Tiger. Elmer knows. Yes, well, also he seems uh, unhappy, said Tiger. Elmer knows. Let's just go and see, said Elmer kindly. Soon they came to a clearing. This is where he usually jumps, said Tiger, and falls over, added Lion. And here he comes. With huge bounces into the clearing came a kangaroo. Then he stopped, hesitated, and fell over. He picked himself up and sobbed, I'm a failure. Not a happy chappy, said Lion. Let's talk to him, said Elmer. Hello, said Elmer. What's the matter? Hello, Kangaroo sniffed. I can't jump. When I try to, I fall over. We're going to have a jumping competition, and I came here to practice secretly, but it's no use. I can't jump. I'll be laughed at. So he said that he felt like a failure. Failure is when you're trying and it's not working. It means that you're not good at something. What do you think Elmer's going to tell him to do? How could he get better at something? Hmm. But you were jumping beautifully, said Tiger. Oh no, I was just bouncing along, getting ready to jump. I'm a good bouncer, said Kangaroo, and to prove it, bounced higher than Giraffe, who happened to be passing. Very impressive, said Tiger. Look how high he can bounce. Way higher than Giraffe. Hmm. But when I think about the jump, I fall over, sighed Kangaroo. This needs some thought, said Elmer. We'll be back tomorrow. So Elmer wants to think about it. You know, sometimes when we have a problem, that's the best thing we can do is stop and think about it. On the way home, Lion said, Elmer, I know I'm a bit slow, but isn't a bounce kind of jump? Yes, Lion, said Elmer, but Kangaroo thinks that a jump is something more difficult, more important. Like sometimes if you think about going to sleep, you can't. When you don't think about it, you soon drop off to sleep. Lion doesn't have that problem, said Tiger. Elmer laughed and left them. The next morning, after talking to Lion and Tiger, Elmer went to meet Kangaroo. Come on, Kangaroo, he said. Lion and Tiger will be by the river. Elmer set off at a steady pace while Kangaroo bounced behind him, in front of him, around him, and even over him. Why, he seems to be jumping just fine, as long as we call it bouncing. At the river, they saw Lion and Tiger on the other side where Elmer had told them to wait. Drat, said Elmer, we'll get our feet wet. Kangaroo laughed and with an enormous bounce landed beside Lion and Tiger. Fantastic jump, said Tiger. 
You mean bounce, said Kangaroo. I can't jump. Lion chuckled. A bounce is a jump. Lion's right, said Elmer. Forget jumping, just bounce. No, let's go to that competition. Kangaroo led the way, delighted that his new friends were going with him. They arrived just as the competition began. After a while, Elmer said, come on, kangaroo, it's time you had a go. There was a roar of applause as a white kangaroo made an enormous jump. That will be hard to beat, said kangaroo. Elmer whispered to lion and tiger. They grinned and went to stand just past the spot where the white kangaroo had landed. As kangaroo was getting ready, Elmer said, drat, we'll get our feet wet. Kangaroo gave a laugh and with an enormous bounce, once again, landed beside lion and tiger. That jump won the competition. Why did Elmer and lion and tiger go stand just past the spot where the white kangaroo had landed? Why did they choose that spot to go stand at? Because it would mean a bigger bounce, a bigger jump. But why did Elmer say drat? We'll get our feet wet. There's no water. Do you think it was to remind Kangaroo that he had jumped past that much water before? Yeah, I think so. I think it was to remind him of when he had jumped all the way past there. Later, Kangaroo thanked Elmer, Lion, and Tiger for their help. You made me remember the river, he said. I didn't think about jumping. When they were back home, Lion said, Strange thing, I felt that we were the, uh, strangers, finished Tiger. Yes, laughed Elmer, and now we're all, uh, friends. They laughed together. Why do you think they felt like they were the strangers? Why did they feel like they were the strangers? Because they aren't kangaroos, you're right. But now they're friends because it's okay to be different. You can be friends with people that are different than you. Absolutely. Thank you so much for reading Elmer and the Stranger with me.